Well, top in the headlines this morning uh, in the skinny, a health scare for Taylor Swift, in particular her, her mother here. Yeah, I need to make that clear. Yes, there, right? it's not the pop star. Yeah. She's known for sharing nearly every intimate detail of her life with her fans. And today she tweeted out this brief message and a link to her blog. Yeah, in that post, she announced that her mother, 57-year-old Andrea Findlay, has cancer. She didn't, however, divulge the nature or severity of that cancer, saying, I'd like to keep the details of her condition and treatment plans private. Hashtag pray for Mama Swift was trending yesterday on Twitter, and Swift is urging her fans to make sure their parents get screened for cancer and other potential health problems. At least a very good cause that she's getting support for. Well, next, another recording artist sharing personal information as well. Yeah, 11-time Grammy winner Pharrell Williams revealed on Late Night with Seth Meyers that in his younger days, he was fired, not once, not twice, but three times from the same place, essentially, McDonald's. Three different locations, but he was fired from McDonald's three times. So, get this, Williams told Myers he was simply fired because he was just plain lazy. And that not wasn't the only good thing at what he was good at. He was also really good at eating chicken McNuggets. Yeah, he went on, this is an ironic twist here, he went on to write, he co-wrote that Justin Timberlake song, I'm Loving It, which would ultimately become the company's slogan and one of the most recognizable jingles of all time. I don't know how we didn't know this until now. He was just working in the wrong part of McDonald's. That's all it was. That's all it was. And he got somewhere else, and now he's one of the hardest working guys out there. Do you think he gets free chicken McNuggets? I doubt it. Uh, next up, another celebrity is not only spilling some secrets, she's raising some hell on Twitter. Oh boy, actress Alyssa Milano is seething after security at London's Heathrow Airport confiscated 10 ounces of her breast milk. So she took to Twitter numerous times, complaining and apparently ignoring the tweeted responses that she got back from the airport's official Twitter account. Now, the airport explained, without a baby present, the government requires all liquids and carry-ons to follow the three-ounce rule, even giving her a link to the government website. 42-year-old Milano gave birth to her daughter, Elizabella, in September. No word, however, on where her baby was. This is a very touching subject for a lot of women who... Like work myself. hard for that work. breast milk. That's 10 ounces is hard work. Gold. I get it. I get it. Finally, wrapping up the segment on Celebrity Secrets, Hollywood heartthrob Steve McQueen managed to get all those women. Uh, I thought so just because he was Steve McQueen, but apparently it was more to it than his good looks. King of Cool may have boosted his sex appeal with his aftershave. Christian Dior's Ouve Sauvage, is that how you say it? Yeah, it's definitely okay. not Ouve Sausage. Okay. Uh, he contained, uh, contained a potent chemical uh, that I never heard of, but apparently it works on women.